It's called the Big Dance for a reason. UConn players held their own pregame dance party to get fired up for their national championship game against Butler. But both teams came out cold and played sloppy. The first half marked by more misses than makes, more lowlights than highlights. At the break, both teams were shooting less than 30% from the field, and Butler led with just 22 points, 22-19. Coming into the second half, the Bulldogs had to feel good. You've got 20 minutes left in your career, all right? Let's get this done all together, all right? Let's go, go, go. But they couldn't get it done. While UConn didn't exactly light it up in the second half, at least they scored. Butler's shooting only got worse. They finished the game just 18.8% from the field. UConn's Jeremy Lamb scored all 12 of his points in the second half, and the Huskies took it 53-41. I don't even know how I feel right now. It's, it's, it's a crazy feeling. When I was dribbling the ball at the end, the um, crowd started getting loud. Time was going down, and... I was just happy. UConn star Kemba Walker added 16 in the win. I felt tears immediately, you know, coming from my eyes. You know, tears of joy, and you know, it just, it just feels unreal. For head coach Jim Calhoun, this is his third time cutting down the nets. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to have some great teams at UConn, and uh, fortunate to win a couple tournaments. And very honestly, uh, this group, uh, to me. Uh, will always be incredibly special. They're all special in their own way, but I, I needed this team. In the Butler locker room after the game, there was nothing but shock. Sometimes you're going to knock down shots, sometimes you're not. You know, it's just the way the game went tonight. You could you know, play a lot of basketball games and not go 12 of 64. And uh, But as a coach, you, you don't get consumed with shot making. You get consumed with preparation. You get consumed with your work that puts you there. So Butler makes the national championship game for the second straight year, but loses while UConn wins their third title since just 1999. Rich Matthews, Associated Press, Houston.